Hi, this is Tom Anderson. This is day five. Today we're talking about the importance of eating a healthy variety of foods. Uh, and I also wanted to give thanks to a friend of our family, uh, Courtney Herman. She's uh, part of Cook It With Courtney. Um, so I'll talk more about her later, but uh, yesterday I was talking about how um, I had cancer and or skin cancer and um, through e uh, reducing sugar I went on the paleo diet or I was 90% on the paleo diet um, <clears throat> so that was very helpful for curing of cancer but there uh, one of the things that I was doing which ended up being really bad for me was um, the way that I was going about the paleo diet was I was not getting a wide enough variety of foods it's similar to when I went on the vegan diet I think there's kind of a right way and a wrong way to switch your diet uh, so that you're not just going, com you know, shocking your system with a complete change of everything that you've been eating. You want to be more gradual about it, but you also want to make sure that you are getting a wide variety and it's, uh, as the saying goes, everything in moderation uh, is so important. Um, so with the vegan diet, I shared that, you know, I was experiencing a B12 deficiency and I was experiencing some arm numbness. Um, and then uh, what ha happened with the paleo diet was, yes, it got rid of the cancer, but uh, I ended up developing a kidney stone, which was happening at the very end of my treatment. Uh, this was a huge kidney stone. I've never had a kidney stone before. Um, it's like seven millimeters in diameter. Um, so uh, they wanted to do surgery right away. I ended up trying to do some other things to take care of the surgery uh, or to take care of the kidney stone um, but it, I ended up having to have surgery later on um, but none of that would have happened had I been a little smarter with the paleo diet and making sure I was getting a wider variety of foods what I was doing is every day I would eat this giant spinach salad um, just and when I say giant it was like huge and I was just my attitude was well spinach is good for you I'm getting a nice, healthy, organic spinach. Um, so I'm eating that every day um, I, to avoid the sugar because I have that, that sweet tooth. Um, one of the things we started doing was we started baking with almond flour. Uh, so almonds don't have the, the same, you know, it's not, it doesn't have the sugar. Um, and so then I was also craving chocolate, so then we'd be eating lots of dark chocolate. So I'd be eating all these baked goods with almond flour and dark chocolate and spinach. And um, the first day that I saw the urologist, he handed me a pamphlet that said what causes kidney stones. And I opened it up and they, you know, like the very first page was saying, have you been eating lots of spinach, comma, dark chocolate, comma, almonds, comma. So it was like the very first three things that they mentioned was almost exclusively what I was eating. And that's kind of what I, I do, and it's not a good thing, is I'm kind of an all or nothing guy where if I'm gonna do something, I'm just gonna, I'm all in. And in this case, I was just, had way too strict of a diet, and as a result, ended up getting a kidney stone. So it's not to say there's anything wrong with a paleo diet, but when you look at what causes it, it's the oxalates in food, which is, um, it's like these calcium deposits that's naturally occurring in plants. So in the spinach, it's very high in oxalates. Um, and what that is, is that's just nature's mechanism for um, preventing insects from eating it. Um, so uh, what, what that does to our bodies, though, is it does form these, um, almost like these spiky calcium deposits that go through our blood. I was so bad um, that when they were evaluating me because I was in huge pain with the kidney stone, they were checking my heart rate. I had an irregular heart rate as a result of being hypercalcemic. I had too much calcium in my bloodstream. All of that was because of my radical diet that I was on. So we need to be careful and we need to get a wide variety of foods and we need to get a healthy variety of, of foods. Um, so it is important to do organic, it is important to do some of the things I'm doing, but it's also important to look at what's the oxalate content, make sure you're not getting too many oxalates. And at that point I realized, you know, I was already 
on such a strict diet of I could only eat these things and not these things and now to avoid oxalates when I went online it wasn't clear to me what had high oxalates and what didn't have high oxalates what we think of as being healthy sometimes it has high oxalates sometimes it has low oxalates I I didn't know until I actually went online and could see okay this thing that I think is healthy oh that's low this one that I think is healthy is also high so there there didn't even seem to be any rhyme or reason to it uh, but I realized if I'm just going to focus on low oxalates, paleo, that was going to be way too strict for me. So that was when I just backed off from paleo altogether and said, you know what, I've, I'm just going to uh, kind of go back to the way I was eating before, but I'm going to try to keep a healthy variety in there, you know, learn a bit from what my mistakes, um, but uh, just don't go all out like that. So. Um, uh, back to Courtney. So I, I mentioned Courtney um, because she offers these lessons with the Cook It with Courtney and it's, it's rather inexpensive. We made some scallops um, and just it was so much fun because she really involves you in the cooking process so that you know how to do it yourself. And uh, when we were done, just the food was so, so good. Um, but really what the takeaway of that is go to these cooking classes figure out ways to um, to you know make different things I'm, I'm a horrible cook but um, my wife is Karen is, is awesome um, so it was mainly for Karen to learn that she you know a, a wide variety of things that she could add and but our kids just love everything that um, Karen's been making especially the stuff that she's been learning from Courtney so I uh, I would definitely recommend you know you check it out go to Google search on cooking with Courtney if you're in the area um, it, I, I highly recommend all right thank you